Hey everybody, how you doing? Uh, man, it's spasm time. I got me a nice old spasm in my back, but I don't give a damn. I'm keeping going with my life. And that's the point I want to get at because, you know, I, I hardly remember to do these things um, because I'm so busy and I try to keep that way so that I don't think about these things. It's hard, it really is. And, you know, if you can't do it, it's not a reflection on you know that you are somehow inferior or something to other people all it means is that if you have any ability any ability any any ability use it just use whatever you got man use what you got and I found I had a lot more than I thought I had now I gotta be careful of what I do but there's some interesting points and I wanted to get to them uh, forgot to start my timer and everything it's cool um, there's a book that I read a long time ago, and it was called Healing Back Pain by Dr. John Sarno. And it's an interesting look at how your mind deals with pain, the mind-body connection, how stress affects your body, and how certain people are prone to having muscle groups react to stress. And it can be auto, you know, um, automatic, basically psychosomatic I think is the actual word basically you be dwelling on something in your head and it can be something that you're thinking about suddenly you have a spasm and I get them in my back uh, other people get them other places but you know lucky me I get them in my lower back it's probably typical but I never thought about it like this and when I read the book he basically talks about how when you have a flare-up try to think about what it might be that could be stressing you out what might cause you to have stress is there anything dig deep in your life if there's nothing on the surface you know that's readily available dig down it could be anything it could be you know um, your property taxes are too much and you're thinking about it a lot but you know you're worried about you can't pay it something stupid and simple but it's on your mind and if your brain learns to react this way what it will do is it will cause you to have a flare-up and because it distracts you from this task, this thing that you're thinking about that you don't want to think about. It's something that you don't want to deal with, but you have to deal with it. So your brain makes this false illusion. It's real, but it's false. There's nothing there. There's no real problem. It's a spasm, basically the muscle. It's a cramp, Charlie horse, in a tiny little muscle in your back or in your neck or in your wherever you may get them, in your shoulders, ribs. They're caused by many different things, but you never know which ones are psychosomatic and which ones are from doing things. Personally, I treat them all like they're psychosomatic because if they're not, I know what not to do. I know what I can't do and can do. I'm not going to hurt myself, but I stay in that range of keeping myself moving, keep it going, do everything I can, use my brain. I come up with other ways to do things, you know, ingenuity, right? So let me get up to some of the interesting things that I come up with when I, what I've come up with as far as how to deal with these things. And you may find it interesting, you may think it's complete poppycock, I'm not sure. I hope that you find it interesting. Basically the idea is your mind creates pain as a distraction, okay? The muscle groups react to stress and you flare up. Now how do you use this idea? It's basically all in how you react to the pain. When I used to feel a flare-up coming on, I could, you know, when I'd feel it, it hit me like a ton of bricks in my head because I knew that it was going to take me weeks, sometimes a week, sometimes three, four weeks to get over that pain, maybe even more. And I knew that during that time, I was basically going to be in for six weeks of hell, trying to take painkillers, doing whatever I could to you know, ease the pain, hot presses, cold presses, sleeping on a board, on board, whatever you can think of to try to make the pain go away. You guys know what I'm talking about when you're at that level. Other people don't, but when you've got pain and you're trying to make it go away, you'll try even magic beans in your front yard, anything to make this pain go away. Now, if you relax when you have these flare-ups, what I told myself to do was to relax first. Relax tell yourself it's going to be okay. It, it's a strange message, it's simple, but it goes to your subconscious. You tell yourself, 
it's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. Even if you don't know what the hell's wrong, <laughs> you just say, everything's going to be okay. It's, I'm going to get through this. We're going to be cool. Don't worry about it. Then here's where it gets a little crazy. All right, and maybe I'm just a little nuts myself. I don't know. It could be, you know, but if you treat it like it's a, a secondary person, if you will, you can sometimes have more luck. Like, I talk to my pain. I tell it to F off. I tell it I don't need you in my life. I tell it there's nothing you can do to stop me. I treat it like a prize fighter would treat his ring. My life is my ring. That pain comes into my ring, and it's on, man. Now, that pain is not, it's not nothing to trifle with. It's a formidable enemy. But if you fight it tooth and nail, you'll find that it has its own weaknesses. And sometimes fighting it is not necessarily, you know, gritting your teeth and getting through some kind of pain. It might just be sitting back and telling yourself, you know, it's okay. I can, I can go outside. Maybe I can't do that project I wanted to do this weekend. But you know what I can do is I can write up the plans for it and I can go out and measure this. And I can, you know, take my time. I can get my kids involved or do whatever I can do. Use ropes. Use, I mean, I, I've come up with crazy things but I get things done okay it may take a little slower than other people but I get it done it has a huge impact on your brain when you get these things done okay and you start accomplishing things you start realizing that you can do something you might be in pain but you're getting it done I've had to dig stumps out of the ground with a back spasm I mean imagine someone it, you know what they feel like someone's twisting a red-hot poker in your back or, or jamming something off in your back I mean it's horrible but if you can tell yourself that it just does not matter because it's not going to kill you and it's not going to matter anyway because it's going to be there anyway it's kind of nothing you can do it's just like fighting you just got to get in there and fight until you're dead you fight so that's what you do you fight the pain tell yourself you're okay don't think that you're injured don't think that this is how it's going to be for the rest of your life say no I'm going to be what I am. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to do everything I can. Be reasonable. You know, we all know our limits. If you're just getting into this, you want to take it slow. You don't want to dwell on your problems. That's the main thing. Don't dwell on your problems because that causes the psychosomatic reaction. You start slowing all these processes down. You start getting more exercise because you're out moving around. It doesn't matter if you just walk into the mailbox. You say, oh my God, I can't even make it to the mailbox. Get out there and do it. I just started my own business. Today was the day I was going to get out there and market. Now what happens? Yesterday morning, I'm picking something up off the floor. My back goes out on me. It was stupid and mundane, but now I'm in agony. But you know what? I don't care. I sat there and I said to myself, I don't want to do it today, but I got up and I did it anyway, and I might have my first contact and my first customer out of it and my back hurts like hell but screw my back I need money my family's you know, counting on me I gotta get these things done I can't you know I only have however long the good Lord gave me on this planet and if I let this thing take me down and make me sit and not sleep right and, and everything else it's just gonna kill me and it may kill me anyway but I'm gonna go down swinging and that's what I suggest to you guys now, I'm running out of time here so I'm trying to compress it into one thing but I can make some more videos about this if you'd like um, it all comes down to how you react man and fight fight your pain talk to it tell it off tell it you got nothing on me when I used to get up my hips hurt so bad I couldn't walk I would walk slow like an old man I kicked myself in the ass one day and I said walk normal walk fast and I just started walking fast it hurt like hell but you know what I can move faster now because I taught myself to do it. Ignore it. It sounds crazy. It takes a long time. I'm not saying it's something you can do tomorrow. I've been working on this for, good Lord, 20 years now. But it, it's starting to take. And, you know, <laughs> it works, my friends. But anyway, listen. I really, really thank you for watching my videos. I love everybody. I love you guys. I thank you for watching it. And I hope you guys get something out of this. And uh, write to me. Talk to me and uh, send me some messages. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.